Hello, it's Melissa Sweet here from Crokey. We're in the final stages of the um, wonderful Heatwave Health Crokey Go at Sunshine in Melbourne, and we're talking to participants about what their takeaways are from the, the fabulous walk and talk we've just done. Could you please introduce yourself and tell us what you're taking away from today? My name is Dara Dean. Uh, I'm a Community Development Officer at IPC Health. I think the takeaway for me has been uh, just learning about all, all of the different ways in which services are uh, responding and adapting to the issue of um, heatwave health. Um, so that's been really amazing to, to, to learn about and, um, and to hear from the speakers. Anything you'll do differently as a result of today? I think definitely we're going to reach out to some of the uh, various services that we've heard from around how we can partner with them to be able to reach those vulnerable people in our community um, and to see how we can uh, Im implement the programs and the services that they're delivering for the benefit of those who are vulnerable. Thank you very much. Hello, could you please tell us who you are, where you're from and what your takeaway is? Sure, my name's Daniela, I'm from Unite in Kildonan and my takeaway has been to focus a little bit more about how we can assist clients with mobility issues on a heat wave um, day. So maybe look into volunteering or perhaps just reach out to local councils and see what sort of transportation we can provide for people that don't have transportation or can't. Fantastic, thank you. Hello, could you please tell us who you are, where you're from and what your takeaway is? My name's Matt, I'm from Uniting as well. Um, my biggest takeaway today is all the linkages that we can have with uh, different organisations that are doing great work around this space and um, how we can actually help improve our programs for clients who are vulnerable. Anything specifically that you'll do differently? Um, I think we'll just the, the register was the thing that really um, clicked with me with the, with Brimbank. We've got a lot of clients out this way who um, who are elderly and uh, and at home a lot, so they, they have limited access to get out of the house uh, on those heatwave events. So that um, register is uh, a brilliant brilliant program. So we're going to try and link in with that. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Hello. Who are you? Where are you from? And what's your takeaways? I'm Margarita Windish. I'm at RMIT in the social work department, and I'm also doing my PhD at Monash University on heatwaves. I've been really impressed with what uh, people are doing in the Brain Bank areas, the different services, the council. There's a lot of interest, there's a lot of willingness to try and make life easier for vulnerable community members. And I think what I take away with, it's not the community that is not on board, but we need to push federal and state government a lot more to take uh, heat waves seriously as, as, as a climate, as part of the climate crisis. Anything you'll do differently as a result of coming along? Um, not that I know of. Okay, let me suggest one thing. Perhaps yep. you could write some articles for Crokey about your work. I could actually. Thank okay, you for great. suggesting that. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, could Hi, you please you. introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Dr Tess Ryan. I'm an Aboriginal academic. Uh, I'm based here in Melbourne um, and I also have my own reflections as someone with a chronic illness. So what are your takeaways? Um, I think for me, uh, it's great to see that there's a community response and local government here at council. They seem to be doing a lot of the really heavy lifting with regards to uh, approaching this issue. Um, it's frustrating not to see more uh, input from the state and federal government. Um, but also, I, I really love the fact that uh, here I'm seeing a lot of community outreach and support for those uh, vulnerable people that might be impacted. Health. Anything that you'll do differently as a result of coming along? Um, well, I'm in the Altona area, so uh, I feel like I should uh, probably engage a bit more with my neighbours. Um, there's still quite a lot of uh, elderly people that are living in that area and some people that might be really adversely affected by these heat waves. Uh, so I might check on my neighbours a little bit more. Beautiful. Thanks, Tess. Hello. Could you please tell us who you are, where you're from and what you've taken away from today? My name is Samuel Muchoki. I'm the Health and Wellbeing Policy Officer at Brimac City Council. And what's your takeaway from today? Um, you know, there has been great learnings on the range of um, activities that the um, uh, organisations are doing around Heatwave, and it was really great to hear, you know, the kind of work that they are doing around the raising awareness of Heatwave, and uh, at the different levels, like the local government level, there are many policies and strategies that now are in place, and that's not where you, we used to be a few years ago, and so it's a lot of traction uh, happening, and, uh, and it's great to, to see that uh, this will benefit the community. 
and anything you'll do differently as a result of coming along? I think for me, uh, just continuing doing the work that we're doing for the community around the you know developing policies and strategies that will um, uh, we will inform services around the uh, provision of services and also raising awareness around the so that the community is aware and they can take uh, appropriate action to uh, you know to ensure that their health and well-being is not uh, impacted negatively. Thank you so much. Are you happy to be? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Could you please tell us who you are and where you're from and what your takeaways yeah, um, are? Hi, I'm Joanne. I came as someone who lives locally here in Brimbank. Um, I came to have a chat, have those conversations, um, observe. Um, how did you find out about the event? Well, Nuruddin, he popped by the youth consultation workshop that Brimbank Council ran. Um, and it was good to meet Nuruddin because he represented um, an organisation called Co Lab. Yes. Um, and he said he was working on a campaign to help the community um, be informed about what we could do um, on hot days. Um, and is it something you'd thought about before? I mean, do you have a particular interest in health or in in heat waves? Mm -hmm. um, just in general, community. Mm. I think we help each other out, and you let everyone know what's happening or where to go to. Yeah. Um, so, will you do anything differently as a result of coming along today? I'll just tell everyone that there are services. Um, and there are other places other than the shopping centre that you can go to on a hot day. Fantastic. And what would you like to see us do at Crokey? What what sort of stories would you like to see us write uh, next? Up? Yeah. Um, I was hoping for the community members or residents to be here. Yes. So like a dialogue. Yes. More than just um, service, people, providers. service providers. Yes. Um, and with like a mixture of younger and senior. Um, so could I suggest we'll be writing up articles out of this. We'll also do some short films yep. and things like that. Okay. Can I get your contact details? Yeah. And you can help disseminate them to community then. Okay. Can, we can do things like okay, that. Is yeah. that of interest? Anything else you'd like to add before I wrap up? Um, I think this is a great kind of informal way to have people come together and share about their work rather than just like get a, a meeting. Yeah. What is it about the walking, you think? Well, it's, it's experiential. Yes. I don't have to yeah. use that word. And um, I guess we're human, so we like to walk and um, look yeah. and move. And um, it's good to capture this through film and media. Yes. Like a time capsule. Do you use any social media channels yourself? Uh, Instagram. Okay. Yeah, I was hoping CoHealth had an Instagram, but they don't. No, well, Croaky News will post some photos and okay. things on Instagram. Okay. Just yeah. short, you know, a series of photos and things yeah. like that. But most of our stories will be at croaky.org. Okay. So look there. Okay, well, we'll sign off then if you're happy okay, with thanks. that. Lovely. Yeah, I haven't heard of a health journalist before.